Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Nick Tan Chats, my magic and mostly mentalism review show. My name is Nick Tan, and on today's episode, I'll be chatting with you guys about Overdraft by Paul Fowler at the 1914. So hi again guys, welcome back to the channel, and as always, thanks for showing up, thanks for tuning in, and thanks for spending some time with me today. So it has been a busy week for me, you know, uh, coupled with, you know, juggling my performances, uh, both virtual and live performances. I've also been preparing, you know, for my trip up to the UK that will be happening in three days time. So I will be in the UK for about a week, you know, uh, in London and in Stockton as well. So I thought, you know, before that happens, all right, for the whole of next week, uh, I could, you know, try to squeeze in uh, one more episode for you guys uh, of Nick Tan Chats right here on YouTube. And today's product is actually something that many of you out there have been, you know, bugging me to talk about, you know, because um, I've actually uploaded uh, a couple of uh, performance clips of myself doing it uh, on my social media, all right, uh, you know, on Instagram and on Facebook. And if you have been watching my channel for, you know, any amount of time, you will know that I am a big fan of the 1914. Uh, in fact, many of the episodes that I've done uh, features, you know, products from the 1914. And uh, D. Christopher has been really kind to me, you know, really generous as well. Uh, and he recently actually let me have a look at uh, Alexander Marsh's uh, latest project with the 1914 uh, called the Billet Masterclass. All right, so I've got uh, quite a lot of thoughts about that as well. All right, good things to say, uh, but that will have to wait for a future episode. So if you have watched uh, the trailer on the 1914 website for Overdraft, or if you have watched uh, other review shows uh, on YouTube, uh, I believe uh, Rooster over at Roos Reviews has done a review episode for this product. Uh, so has Steve Faulkner as well uh, over at Real Magic Review. So if you have watched those reviews, and if you've watched the trailer, I'm sure you pretty much know everything you need to know already uh, about whether to pick up this or not. Pick up, pick up this. I'm pretty sure you already know whether to pick this up for yourself or not. And you know, in watching the trailers, right, if you are an experienced magician, you know, you've had, you know, some experience doing magic, I'm sure you already know uh, what's going on, you know, the, you know the method, right, behind this whole thing. And because of that, you know exactly what are the stuff that you will be receiving. This is especially so, you know, if you have uh, experience performing, you know, copper silver routines with coins, or if you've done like, um, I don't know, Monty routines or wild card routines, um, you know, color changing knives, you know, and um, I think Chad Long also has released uh, a version with uh, flash drives as well, right? Thumb drives. Then, well, this is exactly that, okay, but kind of like with updated props. And you know, because of the nature, you know, of the props that are involved uh, in this particular version of, of this sort of an effect, uh, it makes it the perfect EDC, I suppose, you know, the perfect everyday carry because, well, it is credit cards, right? And we all carry uh, credit cards in our wallets, you know, as opposed to, you know, carrying little knives, uh, you know, walking around, which I've always felt was a little suspect. So what do you get when you purchase uh, Overdraft? Well, it comes in this box, okay? And check out the box, okay? It's a beautiful box, you know, it's, it's ridiculous, the packaging, basically. As with everything, you know, that comes from the 1914 in their signature black uh, box with gold foil printing, uh, and inside the box, you will get uh, these cards, okay? They're just three cards, you know? They could have just placed, I don't know, the cards into like, a cardboard sleeve or something, but they really just went out of their way uh, to package uh, the three cards. So on top of the physical props that you will receive, you will also receive uh, links to the tutorial videos, okay, that will be uh, made available to you uh, on your 1914 account. And uh, in the videos, you know, you have uh, Paul Fowler explaining to you everything you need to know uh, about uh, how to perform uh, the effects that are possible with the cards. And he does go through uh, quite a, a good variety, you know, of effects. Uh, some are visual using the cards themselves, some combine bills, uh, you know, they combine wallets. The routines are quite uh, easy to perform. Uh, they are also highly visual. And on top of the visual kind of magic, uh, there's also uh, a prediction effect that is possible with the cards as well. Louis Laval also comes on board uh, on this project to share some of his ideas as well uh, in using the overdraft cards. So let's talk about the physical props themselves, all right? Um, I mean, you, you know exactly what you're gonna get, okay? Because again, if you are a magician, if you've had some experience performing magic, you will know exactly um, what, what these are, all right? You will have uh, two regular cards and one which you will use to bring about some of the more visual effects, okay? So I, I won't talk about this, you know, you, you should know what this is already, um, but let's talk about the cards themselves. Now, these cards, I will tell you, look absolutely great. 
I mean, just looking at them like casually, right? You would swear that these these are real kind of credit cards, right? Because they look real, they feel real. They've got you know the the, the strips behind, uh, the chips in front as well, right? Uh, no detail has been left out. Uh, the numbers are slightly embossed as well. So I mean, they really look so real, right? Uh, it they look so real. Uh, it's surreal. That wasn't a very good joke. Also, the level of detail uh, is to the point that, you know, one of the cards, uh, in particular the orange one, uh, has got a, a kind of a matte finish, okay, a kind of a matte finish, and the black one, which, which I, I quite like the look of, or I, I much prefer, uh, has got a gloss kind of a finish, okay, so if you were to be doing any kind of, you know, transposition effects, uh, not only do the colours all right, vary, all right, so the effect is clear, um, but the feeling of the cards is different as well, all right, because one is gloss and one is matte. The only thing I can say, you know, is that, um, well, I've been carrying these cards around for about a week, you know, in, in my regular wallet, you know, and just performing with them anytime I can, right, for friends, you know, just having a lot of fun with them. Uh, and the black card, the gloss card, okay, the one with the gloss finish, uh, has already begun to show uh, quite a bit of signs of like scratching okay which is not really a big deal i do suppose it makes it look realer realer more real so i do think you know that after a while you know if you do really like this effect a lot you know uh, you will have to kind of purchase like refills or, or replacement cards you know especially for the gloss one okay uh, i'm not sure if d christopher will make those available you know in future you know the sale of like individual refill cards um but I don't know, if, if D. Christopher would like to send me a couple uh, for Christmas, I'd be really, really happy. So the basic effect that is performed with uh, Overdraft uh, is the card cloning effect, okay? And I will just briefly perform it for you here right now. This is not the handling that is taught on the tutorial video, okay? I'm just doing like a variation of it, okay? Because I want to perform it like you know, face to the camera, okay? So uh, the effect is this, you show two prepaid credit cards and you talk about you know, card cloning, right? So uh, a black and an orange, and you take uh, the orange one, you touch the two chips together, just like that for an instant, and you say that that actually begins uh, the card cloning process, okay? So you can see the exact moment when the cards start to clone themselves, leaving you now with two orange cards. So that is the basic effect, okay, that, you know, is performed with the, the overdraft cards, right? The card cloning effect. So uh, Paul actually has got a couple of routines like that, okay? And he uses the card cloning sequence to kind of close off uh, the various routines. So he's got different kinds of effects to perform before the card cloning bit, okay? They are like effects where you talk about, you know, stealing information. Uh, there's a, a routine where, you know, you make a bill appear uh, and then you can go into the card cloning segment. There are also various uh, transposition effects that are possible with the cards, all right? Because, you know, if you understand the gaff that is involved, uh, you can see how, you know, very visual transpositions can take place. Uh, some of them use, you know, um, your own wallet. You know, you can also do a routine with uh, the spectator's wallet as well. You know, the transpositions can be very, very uh, visual. And then after the transposition, you can go into the card cloning effect as well to close off the whole routine. Also taught uh, on the video, all right, is a prediction effect, all right, with two envelopes. Okay, so each of the cards, the black and the orange, uh, they are placed into two separate envelopes. Uh, you know, you give them a little mix, you hold up one of the envelopes and you have the spectator uh, guess whether it is the, the black one or the orange one. They guess like three times in a row, they guess maybe correctly the first two times and on the third attempt they make a little mistake you know they guess wrongly and then at the end you can show that uh, you had already predicted that they would guess correct correct and wrong so this actually reminds me of a routine that uh, was described by Ran Pink all right in the instructions for the mosaic uh, decisions cards all right by Alakazam all right if you, if you know that uh, you know you can look up the routine so it, it's the same kind of prediction effect so built into one of the cards, all right, is a way for you to perform uh, a magic square. Okay, I think I, I can say that. Yeah, you know, there is a magic square that you can do uh, with one of the cards. So there's no like memory work involved, all right, because everything is kind of laid out in front of you already. Oh yes, uh, Paul Fowler has got a simple way of producing a bill from between, you know, two of the cards, right? But Louis Laval has got 
a really, really great way uh, to produce like a whole stack of bills from between the cards, okay? I love that effect so much. It looks really great. Uh, and I actually posted, um, you know, a short performance clip of that uh, on my social media as well. Louis Laval also has got a really cool effect, uh, which reminded me of um, an effect by RC Wind, actually, like double exposure, right, by RC Wind, where you take a photograph, you know, using the spectator's mobile device, you know, you have them hold up um, a card of one colour, you take a photograph of them holding that card, which they think is one colour, all right? Uh, you put their phone down, you take that card back, you talk to them, you know, a little bit about influence. Uh, when they look back, they see that the card has changed colour, you know, and but you tell them, right, that the card has been that colour all the time, all right? And the proof uh, is in the photograph that you took earlier. They look at the photograph and they see that the card that is in the photo has, like, changed colour as well. So yeah, you know, those are kind of like the effects that are taught, you know, on the tutorial videos. Um, but I do believe that, you know, if you get this, uh, if you play with them a little bit, you will come up with, you know, a whole bunch of uh, applications of ideas for yourself as well. And uh, well, that's all I have to say about Overdraft, you know. Um, bottom line is this, the props look really, really great. You know, they look really authentic. Other effects that I've seen before where a bill like changes into, into like a credit card, right? And it looks nothing like a credit card at all, you know what I mean? Uh, but these look really, really legit, all right? They look real, you know? So I'm really happy with how uh, high quality the props are. The magic itself, you know, I mean, it's not gonna be the deeply affecting, you know, kind of, of magic, right? But uh, if you have these, you know, just tucked away in your wallet as your everyday carry, you are ready to perform just like a really quick bit uh, of, incidental visual magic for, for your spectators, right? Anyone, anywhere, anytime. All right, guys, so that's all I have to say about uh, Overdraft uh, by Paul Fowler and the 1914. If you'd like to pick up Overdraft for yourselves, I will leave the link in the description box down below. So I know I'm not sure when the next episode will be. I do intend to do a couple more uh, episodes in future because I do have some products lined up, um, but I will try to get to them, uh, you know, the moment I get back uh, here to Singapore and, uh, you know, after my, my trip to the UK. So till next time, guys, till the next episode, uh, do take care of yourselves, stay safe, have fun with your magic and your mentalism, and I will see you on a future episode of Nick Tan Chats.